Barry Orton in the multicolored tights wrestled in the WWF under the name Barry O. Good move there by Barry O. He says some male promoters in the WWF prey on young, good-looking wrestlers. You see it go on all the time, uh, coming out of the shower, uh, and there's your booker standing there uh, staring at your midsection with that goofy look on his face, making groans and licking his lips. Billy Jack Haynes wrestled with the WWF for two years. What a match of muscle right here, Gorilla. Look at the builds on these two guys. He says sexual harassment of wrestlers is widespread. Put it this way, if you dropped your soap in the shower, you look both ways ahead and behind you before you picked it up. Orton says he's seen wrestlers climb to the top by giving in to sexual advances. These promoters, too, they prey on the dreams of young men. You know, that dream of becoming uh, a top star and making good money. And, you know, it's a dream that I had for many years. And they prey on that to manipulate you and blackmail you uh, mentally and emotionally into, into destroying yourself. This is the second public crisis for the WWF in less than a year. Last July, owner Vince McMahon announced a drug screening program in an effort to put down widespread reports of steroid use. At World Wrestling Federation headquarters in Stamford, Connecticut this morning, McMahon acknowledged that two wrestling executives have resigned amid the charges. But he says none of those charges are in fact true. We have been undergoing an investigation. Our investigation shows us that, again, if anything, there could very well have been some locker room horseplay. There was never anything, to our knowledge, that approached anything illegal or immoral. We don't tolerate that here in the World Wrestling Federation. McMahon says if Orton was sexually harassed, he should have gone to the police. And McMahon added Orton was never a big star in wrestling, so the whole story is just a case of sour grapes, as he put it. Honor Inside Story tomorrow.